Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually doing like a more of a sit down video um, because you guys have requested this so much of like an updated how to have like a cohesive Instagram feed, how to make your feed look aesthetic, how to take cute pictures, just all of that kind of Instagram related stuff. I just kicked a box, sorry about that. Um, it's really, really fucking hot in here. This one I'm gonna focus mainly on like how to make your feed look cute as a whole. But I do want to start off by saying that they like, don't stress too much. I definitely feel like it doesn't matter as much now if your feed looks cute as a whole. Like, I love it when a feed looks cute as a whole. Because that's just the kind of thing I like to look at. If I saw someone's picture on the Explore page and I was like, she's cute. And then I clicked on her her actual main page feed which obviously you're going to go to if you're considering following them if i open her page and it looks like instantly inspiring like mood board-esque aesthetic cute like i can see straight away like oh oh yeah i love all of this then i'm way more likely to follow them than if i clicked on the page and yes she would have cute content but I feel like, I guess what I'm trying to say is I feel like we want the feed to look cute and aesthetic as a whole and cohesive, but only when it works. Like, the feed looking cute and aesthetic should just enhance your actual content. Does that make any sense? Like, as in... Yes, I use filler photos. You guys know I do Monday, Move On Mondays, which is every single Monday I post a cute little slidey carousel mood board, like inspo pictures, filler pictures, Pinterest pictures. Um, but I only choose, there's a massive debate about filler photos, but for me, a filler photo isn't just a, oh shit, like I wanna post this, but this doesn't go and I need something in between. It is that, but it's so much more than that. Like, you should only post a filler photo, in my opinion, if it brings something to your page as a whole. Like, sometimes it's the filler photos that actually enhance the other pictures on your page and draw your eye to the other photos and create just a whole vibe of your page. So when you get that, say, three second window of someone looking at your feed, they can see your vibe straight away, you know, like those filler photos, yeah, they might glance at them, but they're really, really just enhancing your original content. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. So basically I'm saying, yes, I mean, I've jumped straight into the filler photo question, which wasn't the plan, but hey, here we are. If you want to use filler photos, then go for it. But don't just use them for the sake of your next picture doesn't go. Plan them. Like, you really have to have a filler photo that actually enhances and brings your other content up. Not just... It's just there for no purpose. Like, try and have a purpose behind it. But make sure it's there for a purpose on your actual feed. Because otherwise, what's the point? If it's not going to do its job, then what's the point? Like, it's important to do that. So that's filler photos and that's just general feeds as a whole. If you don't want an overall cohesive feed and you're happy to just post what you want, when you want, and you don't even look at your feed layout, then that's great. That's you do you, but I'm guessing you're not that person otherwise you wouldn't have clicked on this video. So we like cohesive aesthetic feeds. We just do. I like it to look like an overall mood board with each individual content also shining. So the, th the three main things, I've tried to make this like into a thing so it keeps it kind of simple and you'll remember to think of these things when you're planning your feed. I still use Unum to plan my feed, by the way. Um, I do have the pro version now, which I'll show you why I like it in a second. Um, so the three things I look for is the three Cs. That's what we're calling it, the three Cs. Content. Composition, colour. That's the three main things I've realised that I look at when planning my feed. So content. 
pretty self-explanatory. You don't want to have a nine grid of selfies. It's just not going to look as great, you know? Like, it's just not going to work as well if you've just got selfie, 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 selfie. Obviously not. Um, so try and, when you're coming to your content, try and think in your head, like, what's the pictures? Write a list. So try and think of the content you take most of, because that's what you're going to have. So work with what you, you do and what you have. So I mainly take pictures of either, like, selfies of my face, makeup, etc. Face masks type vibe they all come under like the the selfie category of content then i have like outfit pictures these can be full body or they can be half body but they're still outfit pictures then i have more filler-esque pictures which tend to be like coffee pictures or i would consider this to be also like a coffee shot as in yes you can see my outfit but it's actually like me drinking a coffee type vibe so more like lifestyle content so you've got fashion and content you've got makeup and skincare and then you've got fashion did i say fashion or did i say lifestyle makeup skincare fashion yeah that's our three categories and they pretty much you can tell what ones are where so write a list of what your content is and then you'll know how to plan that in your feed. Like ideally you want to have, for me, like a selfie, lifestyle, fashion, lifestyle, selfie, lifestyle, fashion. Like, do you know what I mean? So that's your content part. The next one is composition, which is probably maybe one of the most important. I mean, they're all important. They're all important. But anyway, composition. So by composition, we obviously mean how it's going to look on the grid as in even though it might be a four by five picture on the grid you're only seeing a square what is the main composition of it is it a half body is it a full body has it got a lot of negative space is it quite busy um that also comes under content like some of my pictures i make sure that they're very clean like as in there's a lot of negative space it's focused mainly on me whereas other pictures will be quite busy like maybe i'm in a location where there's a lot going on behind me that would be a cluttered picture so i try to do like clean busy clean busy clean you know um so yeah composition what have you got composition is also a great one because i feel like it's something you can edit afterwards so you might have a fashion picture that you want to post but you're like it's a full length shot and i've got a full length shot already next to that one so i can just crop this do a carousel make your first one a half body and then you swipe and then you've got your full length outfit like it's a much it's a really easy one to incorporate into slotting in anywhere because you can change the composition you crop it however you want you could crop it sometimes like i want to post this makeup selfie but there's one quite near to it so i do like a crop so it'll be like a close-up of an eye or you know do you know what i mean like that type vibe um and then the third c color again super important i'm actually going to show you because on on my unum so this is my unum so this is obviously pictures i've posted you can see they've got the instagram mark on them on the pro version you can actually click this thing here called color map and it basically just takes what colors you have on your feed so you can see like mine are all very similar hence why it's cohesive but i do tend to have like if you look at this i'll try and draw it when i'm on the screen this like triangle shape here almost a diamond if you go down to that one and then you've got these two dark ones here that work together um, if we scroll down a bit here's another triangle can you see the triangle dark 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 light 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 this works um here two very dark ones but because they're like there and there it works really well if i take this off um so that was super dark super dark both filler photos because i wanted my feed as a whole to look a bit darker i don't know why i just did that so they work put it back on another triangle here actually almost like a line you can see i don't follow with color for example that's what this is right now i don't follow an actual pattern you can do if you find that easier where it would literally be if i went like this it would be like very clear dark light dark light dark light in like 
almost triangles going up. Well, it kind of almost be diamonds if you did it like that. I just don't personally like to do that because I feel like it's a bit too restrictive. Restrictive? Yeah. Um, so you can see I don't do that, but because I also bear in mind the composition and the content, that's why it still works like this. So like here, for example, we've got the dark triangle and the light triangle. But then if you look at the content of those ones, this is a dark half body, full length light, close up selfie, filler, lifestyle coffee, half body above a full length body, and then completely different pose, completely different composition on this one, like different angle, which is another thing to bear in mind when you're taking outfit pictures. Try not to take them all the same, like don't just be standing straight like do some side do some back do some different movements so you're creating different shapes within your little boxes um because that's what's going to make it work as a feed so yeah if you want to make a pattern for one of the categories like you could do that and it probably would look good i just think it's a bit restrictive personally this is a, the way i do it with the three c's i feel like is a lot more flexible with what's going to work on your feed next um, because you've got three categories to consider so it's just more flexible in my opinion um i'll put some demonstrations because you can just google um like feed layouts um what's it called cohesive feed layouts and it will give you like d like diagrams with like i'll put them on the screen let me just take this off do i need this still oh so that is the other thing i love about the new pro on them is you can do the color mapping which i do think is quite useful do i use it loads not really because i feel like i just know now what goes like i've done it for a while but if you're just starting out to this process of the three c's then this could definitely be helpful for you um because you can see like all these pictures up here are pictures i haven't posted yet i know i'm a bit crazy but you can see they they still all fit i mean this one's very dark but would definitely pop but they're all very similar color apart from this one um, but I think it's nice to have some that pop out. Another one of the questions, I asked you guys for questions and someone asked about, let me just get the questions up, hold on. So the first question was tips for a colourful feed. For me, I, you can be like, just it just happens to be that I like neutral colours. That doesn't mean to say it's not going to work for colourful pages. You just have to be mindful of what colours you're putting next to each other or how you're positioning them. Whether it's that you're wearing blue and then maybe you wanna post something red. Okay, so red and blue, it's not gonna look great, but picking the right pictures to go in between, it can definitely work. And also, like on my feed here, you guys know I went through a blue. Can you see? I put blue, 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 it's like in a triangle. And then it went up to this other one that's still kind of blue and it just it fits in like there's a pop of blue there 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 and it totally works and i think it looks like i loved this section and you could do that with any color there's quite a few questions about tips for how to grow but i feel like that's just a completely different video we're focusing right now on just like how to have a cute feed um would love tips on how you stack up content and stay consistent Okay, well you just saw on my unum, like I have a lot of content. Um, I'm constantly taking pictures, like whenever I have makeup on, like whenever I'm dressed and done, I will take some pictures. Whether it's I've gone out for lunch with my mum and she's just snapped a quick picture. I'm going on a walk, we take a picture. I'm always mindful. And then I'll have days where I actually take content. And those days are more like like serious outfit planning usually for like jobs of some kind um and i'll really think about the location and the props that i need um they're almost like a bit more planned so constantly taking content whenever you can because if you're if you're dressed and you're looking cute and you're ready then snap the moment because it could be a banger <laughs> like you just don't know yes there's loads that i do not use like there's loads that i haven't used but it's always worth having them because you never know when they might you might look back and be like wow this is actually a really cute picture and it definitely fits my feed right now like i'm gonna post this it's totally fine to do that so on a content day 
which is actually today I'm doing content. I'll probably do two to three outfits. I'll always try and do two and sometimes three. It just really depends on how the day goes and if I still feel motivated to do a third because there's nothing worse than pushing content. Like if you've got two great photos and then the third one you're like, oh, let's just quickly try this. Just don't bother because if it's not going to be great, then you're just wasting your time. Um, so yeah. Where do you get... God, I haven't got my glasses on. Where do you get the idea for filler photos? I am like a Pinterest just crazy i'm on pinterest all the time like i feel like i'm on pinterest more than i'm on any other social media to be honest um i think you just find so much great i think pinterest is honestly just the best app that's ever invented like i love the fact that you find stuff you like you pin it to your board but then when you go back like it just amazingly shows you more stuff like that and i just think it's just so good so everything i save on pinterest so I'll constantly be on there pinning to inspo board um, which is usually where my filler photos come from and um, what I tend to do to, to keep it really organic and real is so I obviously will be pinning on Pinterest all week and then when it gets to like Monday sometimes I'll have a photo in mind I'll be like I'll see it in the week and I'll be like damn that is my Monday mood board photo for sure but sometimes I just on a Monday I'll literally scroll through everything I've pinned that week and that is what I'll use for Mood Board Mondays because that's real. That is genuinely what has inspired me that week. And that's what Mood Board Mo <laughs> Mondays is meant to be about. Um, so that's what I do. Um, how do you plan filler photos? I feel like that's quite similar. And we talked about that earlier. Can you do a vlog about posing on camera? Yes. Um, how do you get that dark moody vibe? With my presets girl. <laughs> and I obviously brought out new presets if you didn't know um, what was it like a month ago so those are the ones I use right now I use a mixture between all of them but my most used is the milk pack which is almond and chai and 3am um, on midnight I use quite a bit um, yeah okay next question how do you pre-plan your feed? How do you decide what we're going to post? So I use Unum as I've said. Um, sometimes, sometimes I, I pre, like I might look at it on a Monday and I'll be like, right, this is gonna go here, this can go here, this works here, and I stick to it. But then sometimes I think that, but then when I get to the day, I'm like, I don't wanna post that, so I swap it with something else. Lazy girl tips for getting out there and actually taking time to take pics and edit them. <laughs> that one's funny. I feel like, <laughs> In some ways there's no lazy girl tips like if you want the content you need to take the content but definitely bulk content so just take one day take one day out of your week to take content and you might only do two outfits but of those two outfits you'll get a full length you'll get a half body you'll get a close-up you'll get a lifestyle of two outfits that's potentially like eight photos also another tip is quite often if i'm in london I don't want to carry around a massive bag of like a change of clothes and stuff so I try to wear stuff that's a little bit more simple like not like an out there obvious outfit and I quite often take change of accessories so I might take like a different hat so if I have a coffee I can put the hat on and it, it looks like a different day even though it's I'm really giving away all my secrets now even though it's the same day but it's not it doesn't look it so much because you've put a hat on and also accessories in general a great way to break up your feed like great way like hats close-ups of earrings sunglasses etc would you say when you started posting consistently you grew more um i feel like once i well, as soon as i started this properly i was consistent i feel like i've been on instagram not youtube sorry about that on instagram I feel like I've never really taken a break for more than like four days maybe. Um, I've been consistent on Instagram since the beginning. I genuinely love taking pictures and stuff so I don't struggle to be consistent because I just genuinely love it so much. Um, but I do feel like when I started posting like me, like genuinely my style and my 
ideas and my concepts and my content, like original content, I definitely grew more. So definitely don't try, obviously take inspo from pictures, of course, like who doesn't take inspo from pictures? Like you do it, oh my God, something mad. You do it sometimes without even realizing you're doing it. Everyone takes inspo, but you have to be yourself because if your page isn't you and isn't original and isn't genuine to you, I feel like it just, it just comes across, even though it doesn't, because who would know? But it just does so definitely when i started just being true to myself i grew more um how many of the photos do you post and how many do you take from pinterest pretty much all my photos are my own apart from move on mondays in fact i think that is it now all my photos are my own apart from move on mondays and even move on mondays i quite often put some of mine in there as well but you'll always know if it's not my photo because it won't have my cross on it so you can have a look on my feed how do you edit your stories? Girl, we've done a lot of videos on how I edit my stories, but I will do an updated one for you. Um, how do you take photos if you were alone? I take photos on my tripod. Um, I have a clicker, which I use. I also sometimes use Lens Buddy, which is great. It's an app where you can take photos, but it just, it's got a much better self timer and it literally is like, I'll show you. I feel like this is a whole other video, but I'll just quickly show you anyway, and then we'll go to more depth after. So I'll put this the thing here. So basically it's like this. I like it because you can actually zoom in, which obviously you can't do on front camera normally. And then when you click this, you choose here, obviously how many pictures you want. So let me just, I usually do 30, but let me just take it down to five just to show you. Um, you've got different timers. You can do it to take every two seconds, whatever you want. And then you just, Sorry, the door went because my mum's here because she's coming to help me take pictures today. Um, anyway, okay, so I'll just show you again. So you just click this. Gives you countdown. And then it just snaps every two seconds. <laughs> and then it's done. <laughs> um, and then you can just click here and it will show you the pictures. I mean, that's lovely. It will show you the pictures you just took. And then you can just save them to your camera roll. I also like it because it doesn't automatically save them to your camera roll. So you can choose which ones you want to save rather than having them all on your camera roll. Um, so that is what I use. Okay, back to the questions. Do you make like a weekly plan with photos you want to take? Not really. Um, I just get ideas randomly, usually when I can't sleep, that then I'll be like, I want to take this picture, and then I'll just take it. Uh, how many plan? How many fo How many posts do you have to plan in advance? Um, I mean, you saw I have a lot. So yeah. Um, what's the ratio of full body pictures to close ups? How to play around with lighting? I feel like I've already answered that one, and also the lighting's pretty similar as well. I feel like I've answered that one. How to name a photo album on your phone. I don't actually do that that much anymore unless I've got a lot of jobs on. If I've got a lot of like jobs on that I have content for, then I will put them in folders. But as a whole, I don't really use it. But you just create new album and name the album whatever you want to name it. Will you release a new story filter of Instagram? I don't know. I don't, I have something else I'm working on which I think you guys are gonna love, which in my opinion is actually better than the insta story filter but maybe i'll release it at the same time maybe i'm not sure let me know what you want many use filler photos to maintain the feed but is it really a good idea i feel like i've answered that already and it just goes back to the a filler photo with a purpose not just like for no reason like you still want the filler pictures to do kind of well obviously it's never going to do as well as your own original content but you still want it to be inspiring to others so in that way, yes. Um, you are so talented. Ah, oh, that's nice. Um, do you use a professional camera? No, not really. The majority, like 99% of my photos I take on my phone, it's the 11 Pro Max. How do you manage to keep up with it and get new ideas? It is difficult. I'm not gonna lie, like it is difficult. I feel like I'm best and I'm most creative, which is really probably a bit odd when I'm on my own, like, when I'm on my own, I feel like I come up with the best ideas. 
and I feel like when I take pictures on my own I take the best I come up with the best ideas I don't know I don't know I don't know why that is I just feel like that is what happens how to make an aesthetic account without only using two three colors I'm gonna make this the last question um I feel like I've already touched on this like just maybe work on a nine grid situation so that nine grids blue the next nine grids red the next nine grids purple or you just you can post multiple colors but focus more on the composition and the content of those pictures but yeah i think that's everything we're going to touch on today i feel like hopefully that was helpful definitely don't stress it too much you're going to go through periods where you love your feed and you're going to go through periods when you're like i'm not feeling this but you can change it it's constantly evolving all the time um so don't worry too much don't put too much pressure on it content will always win like even though yes i've said for me an aesthetic feed and how it looks cohesively is a massive plus in my opinion but that's because i like it so if i see someone else and i like it i'm going to follow them you know but at the same time content is always going to win your actual picture is always going to win over the feed feed is just like a massive plus in terms of growing followers in my opinion but don't forget your three c's let me know if you find that helpful i kind of have been planning that in my head for so long and just haven't filmed the video so hopefully you do find that helpful give it a thumbs up if you like this video and if you want more how i edit my pictures or stories then let me know and i'll see you in my next video okay bye guys i think also by the way i'm gonna maybe vlog today of me shooting with my mum so you can see what we do maybe i don't know